hi everyone welcome to this demo video of assembly products into one so as the name goes this module will help you out to combine several products into one package of master product so let's see here in the um, module description we have a nice picture here of say this is a bottle of milk this is a bread here and we would like to combine these two products into one bucket or package here if we don't want to use this bucket anymore we can disassemble product back to its own let's begin first thing first make sure to install this assemble products into one you can get it from the Odoo official store now first thing we need to do is go to settings and user and companies and select the user that you wish to grant the assembly privilege and disassemble also if you wish and then after that we head to the inventory and this in this operation tab here make sure to uh, refresh your page first because if you don't refresh it you will never see this too okay so before we begin our demonstration here let's make a scenario we would like to combine this chocolate and snack bar into this bucket of snacks here this master product is already has uh, 500 units uh, of stocks with 1000 cost here and also with this snack bar we have we have 600 units and 600 rupees cost this has zero units and we would like to add this in this assembly demo in this scenario i set the product category with uh, first in first out costing method and auto method inventory valuation here so if you are having this different stock valuation um, that's fine because i just want to showing you that this total value will later will be updated with this assembly product so it will affect the um, accounting calculation and let's begin with the creation first we need to uh, assign this bucket of snacks here or the product that you wish to be a main product or main package and we would like to create this bucket of snacks with three units and later on we can add this uh, list of product that you wish to be combined into the buckets so we have this chocolate and snack bar say we want to make this four and snack bar with two so the quantity you see in the column here this is the quantity that will be needed for each bucket of snacks that will be created since we are going to create free bucket of snacks this quantity will be multiplied with free and the total results will be shown here so we need in total we need 12 chocolate and 6 snack bar and don't forget to put dog sources here and the stock destination after that we go and save and confirm we have this check availability if we press the check availability now if you see this chocolate we initially have 500 and if we refresh this this will be decreased to 488 let's see with the bucket 2 we have this 3 because we would like to make this package to 3 uh, now if we see in forecasted it will also be updated in here so in order to create uh, to see this forecasted inventory you can go to the inventory itself inventory module here and we can go to reporting and see the forecasted see we have this free and also another master product here and if we go on reserve the stock will also be zero now let's just uh, check availability and validate this what would happen well of course the stock will be moved to this bucket let's say 
it's already uh, added to free and the chocolate will be decreased to 488 this also happened with the snack bar we have here it has 594 here and in forecasted we can see it's already applied and now we see the inventory valuation too we have this uh, 60,000 with uh, the actual of each product is 20 if we multiply this 20 with 3 it's 60,000 here so we've done the assembly now what if we want to disassemble this product back to its own well you can select the disassemble product here and can create um, we have this two feature here where we can do a uh, custom disassemble or you can just uh, select the number that you wish to disassemble so in this case we already create this and we would like to put it back to its own we previously created three and here in stock source it's already defined here because we uh, selected this one place now the product name will not going to show unless you confirm this and it will be shown here and if we check the availability the same process will happen to each of this forecast inventory you see everything will back to its own now um, if one reserve it also back to the initial value here so now if we just begin to validate here everything will be applied so this bucket of next should be come zero that's right and this chocolate will be back to 500 and snack bar will be uh, reverted back to 600 and if we check the product moves it has the record like this so this is the initial inventory adjustment and we have this assembly and also this assembly steps here everything will be uh, recorded to these products moves see we have this assembly and disassembly and it's also create this snack bar with uh, assembly and disassembly stock move here so you can also print this disassemble or assemble product document by clicking the print button here this will generate the PDF report for you and this is the very um, basic report that generated here um, you can uh, customize this if you wish by um, accessing the uh, settings menu here and make sure that you um, activate the developer mode first and head back to settings you go with the um, reports here and type assembly and this is for the assembly and disassembly and you can go to the key web views and you can uh, if you understand how to uh, customize the uh, HTML or XML you can apply it here and this will affect this uh, output here and about the sequence you see here we have this disk and we have this um, number and in the symbol we have this ASML and this number if you wish to change this sequence you can also head to the um, technical and go to sequence here and we see that we have this assemble sequence as and this assemble sequence here this would be best if you could setting this since the um, very first installation of this module so 
you can change this ASML to something else and next number and sequences that's it um, thank you for watching I hope this module helpful for you